packing up you know when you like get ready when you on your last day on holiday and you like put things in the case that you would normally put back on the side or back in the bathroom that's what we've been doing this morning jay is washing off his inflatable kayak although i think we're going to leave it here anyway because this is just the best place to use it and i was thinking about something that i was chatting about over on my instagram which i will leave down the bottom here and i was having a conversation about it the other day and i felt like it was a really um interesting conversation some of the messages i got from you guys were great so i thought i wanted to share it over here too and little miss is having a big lie-in so i thought why not now so little man and i were making breakfast the other morning and he was asking me his seventy thousand questions as he usually does and i love that he's inquisitive and i love that he's now starting to have that language and that understanding of language to be able to form questions about things that he genuinely is wondering about all that being said it does my it does my head in um and i don't like responding to him in a negative way in a way that shuts him down but i just end up getting there i end up being really patient really actively patient with him thinking that i'm going to lose my mind so i need to be actively patient with him a little bit longer and maybe it'll you know i'll find some extra patience or he'll be done but then it's that little flip in between where I'd like to be able to then go at the end of that active patience, just have something to say before I flip my lid. I feel like that's, you know, I owe him that. But I just didn't have anything. So I asked over on Instagram and you guys gave me some great ideas. You recommended Sarah Nish's book, which I'll link down below, where she talks about um, my ears are full right now. Um, can you go and find another way to ask that question or write that question down? Or mummy's ears have got room for one more question then they're going to be full up um, and after that you'll have to wait till I finish doing the toast which I think are great options and I want to try them but also that to me is still a bit of a it's still a bit of a shutdown message it's still a bit of a enough go away and that's fine but yeah so I'm, I'm trialing a few things. I'm trialing a few new ways. There were some great ideas for older kids like saying, why don't you go and ask Alexa? Why don't you go and ask your dad? Or why don't you go and write those questions down? Or go and do some research, come back and let me know if you find out the answer. Um, but it really got me thinking about my triggers as a parent. So like what triggers me to be frustrated? What triggers me to get, to blow my lid and to be overwhelmed? And... For me, is definitely that needing to concentrate on two things at once. So needing to be in the middle of doing something and wanting to concentrate on it. And then him feeling like he really needs to ask me those questions. And like I said, I can do that active patience part where I answer him knowing that I'm close to my breaking point, but I can still do it. But then I just flip my lid and I just need that in between bit. Watch this space.